So let me ask you something. Do you know the difference between a hard skill and a soft skill? And do you know how to list your hard skills on a resume and how to list your soft skills on a resume? And if not, that's okay because that's what this video is here for. You're in the right place. My name is Bill Benoist. I'm a certified professional career coach here in Silicon Valley. And I want to talk about listing these skills on your resume and specifically some of the errors that I see people make when listing their soft skills. So let me back up for a little bit here and talk about the resume in general. And that is when you're sending your resume out, if it's actually being seen by a hiring manager or a recruiter, that first go around, they're only going to spend probably about six seconds on it. They're going to scan it and they're going to scan it in a Z format. All right. So if we know that they're scanning in a Z format, then we also know that white space is going to be our friend. And I talk about this a lot in my online class. I have some um, a link in the notes section below. But I talk about how white space is your friend because we develop the resume, we create the resume strategically to make sure that specific skills stand out. And those skills that we want to stand out are going to be the hard skills. So what's the difference between a hard skill and a soft skill? Hard skills are measurable. So it could be your programming languages like Java, C++, Python. It could be um, softwares out there like Oracle or Salesforce. It could be budgeting, um, inventory control. These are all things that can be measured, right? And so we want, these are the keywords that we want to make sure that are separated out. And a lot of times they'll put keywords underneath the professional summary or the professional profile. But you know what I see a lot of? I see something like this. And this is a big mistake out there. But what people are doing is that they will list their soft skills. They'll stand out there. Communication, adaptability, problem solving, time management, critical thinking, whatever soft skill that you can think of in there, they're putting that. And what they're doing is they're really... They're, they're really wasting real estate space because this could be areas where the hard skills could be going into. But soft skills are important. So how do we list the soft skills? We build them into the accomplishment statements um, that are going to be under the work experience. And in some cases, we can even build them into the summary profile or the, the, the professional summary or the professional profile itself, we can add them into sentences there that show, oh, this person has the collaborated skills. This person um, has great problem solving skills. Not necessarily using the word problem solving, but when that recruiter or hiring manager is reading the resume. And now, what did I just say? I said that the resume in that first scan is typically going to last only about six or seven seconds. They may be reading a, a sentence here and there, but they're really looking for those hard skills. Can this person do the job? But when they've separated the yes pile from the no pile, now they have a yes pile of five, six, seven resumes. Now they're going to do a lot deeper dive into that resume. And the last thing you want is a resume that reads like a job description, responsible for this, responsible for this, responsible for this. No, you want to start it with an action verb. You want to show the accomplishments that you are accredited for, are accredited for, for those responsibilities. And that's where we build in the soft skills. So quick video today, but again, don't be wasting real estate space listing soft skills when you should be listing your hard skills. Put those soft skills into the accomplishment statements and in some cases even into the professional summary. What you need to do is you need to show that hiring manager that you are the person to solve their pain points. Okay, help them sleep at night.